<laughs> How's it going, guys? Steve Lab here. Hey, listen, uh, just a little question and answer stuff. Um, I got a lot, of, a lot of these guys. I did some, recorded some uh, soldering videos on Copper Pipe, and uh, some, of, some of these guys that leave comments comments on it is like, you got to stuff the pipe with bread. You got to get, you know, it's got to be Wonder Bread. You got to stuff the pipe with bread with a screwdriver until, until no more water coming out. Until the pipe turns green, you know, look at the frog's ass, and you know that's watertight. <laughs> hey, listen, guy. I've never had to, um, you know, put any kind of foreign material inside a pipe to stop it to, to do a solder job. Never had to. I've been doing this for 32 years. I've never had to um, stuff bread inside a pipe. I had a couple of old old buzzards tell me that once. You know, these guys are living back in the flipping dark ages, I guess. Just something about sticking, you know, foreign material into a pipe, and then after, you know, you got to try to flush all that shit out of there. It doesn't never sound like a good idea to me. I never needed it. Uh, there's different ways you can shut the main off, you know, and get the. As long as the water stops, you know, there's no water dripping. Uh, you just have to get a way, uh, you know, to steam the water out in case there's any, you know, water buildup in there. It will steam out. You just have some have to some, have some kind of bleeder or, you know, something something there to get the steam out. Some of these comments I get about the bread just makes me shake my head and, uh, you know, wonder in amazement how, you know, uh, flipping people make these comments half the time. They probably never did a stitch of work in their life or they might have did one, one solder joint, you know, 25 years ago or something and they got by with this flipping bread idea. The only time I use bread is in my sandwich. That's it. <laughs> stuff bread. No, oh, you got to stuff the bread in there. It's got to be, it's got to be wonder bread. It works the best. I just wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> you know, some of the comments I get on my station, 99% of them are, are good, uh, you know, legitimate questions. There's some off-the-wall flipping shit that comes through, though, once in a while. You know, you get these haters come through and they leave all these nasty comments. And uh, I just delete them comments for the most part. I don't even leave them up there. But... You know, for the most part, I get I get some real real good guys, but I will tell you, internet's not an easy play to an easy place to play. Sometimes it can be uh, pretty nasty. I get some comments on my air conditioning and stuff like the these kids. They don't have a flipping clue what they're talking about, and they're trying to. You don't know what you're talking about. It, it should be done this way. It has to be done this way, and um, you know, you got you got high you got high um sub cooling because um it's raining outside. It's not because there's non-combustibles in the system. It's because it's, it's raining outside. So that's what the problem is. It's The condenser's wet. So, you know, you're going to have super high um, subcooling. It's not because, you know, the system has full of air in there. That can't be it. That can't be it. You better go back to the basic refrigeration school and, and learn the basics. <laughs> it's like these fucking... <laughs> these, these kids... Um, some of the comments I get, it's like... Whatever, guy. You know? You better go back to flipping basics, you know? Get the pacifier out of your mouth and go take some basic courses of refrigeration. And uh, you can see how the, the refrigeration cycle works and you'll know that, you know, non non condensables non -condensables don't work so well in, in, in the system. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, then I got these other guys on my oil burner videos because I do a lot of oil burner work, you know. And uh, you know, you got an oil tank and you got a filter at the oil tank, then you got an oil line that goes over to the pump, you know. And is a pump is a pump with a pump filter inside the pump. Now, uh, when I change a filter at the tank, if it's dirty or whatnot, I uh, put a new filter in there. If the line's dirty coming over, you know, to the pump, or if that pump filter is dirty. Uh, Suntex will have a pump filter. Some of the old Websters didn't have a filter inside the pump. But you can tell if that pump filter is dirty. I can tell just by the amount of flow I get out of that pump when I'm running it. Okay? After I change the filter, put a clean filter in there, and I run the oil burner, I can see by the amount of oil that's coming out of the tube when I'm purging it. If the flipping screen's dirty, it's, it's going to be a wimpy flow. So I'll know whether i got to change the... You know, the pump screen or not. Just by experience. So you get these guys. Oh, that filter at the tank was so dirty. 
You have to change the pump filter. It has to be done. I can't believe you would, you wouldn't you would not change the pump filter. It's uh, unacceptable, unacceptable behavior. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have a clue of what you're doing. <laughs> it's like, guy, I've been doing this for a lot of years, over 20 years. I know by just the flow. I can tell if the filter's dirty. You know, I get these flipping comments, you know, and these flipping super, I call them super techs. They're fucking know-it-alls, you know, on a keyboard. The keyboard know it all. Oh, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. I, I, I know because I've been working for six months in the field, and uh, this is how I was taught to do it, and you have to do it that way. Uh, it has to be done. There's no other way around it. <laughs> I do things that need to be done. I do them. If they don't need to be done, why do it? You just you spin in your wheels and you're wasting time. That's it. What they call inexperience. That's where you're six months in the trade. Your inexperience is showing. You know. So I don't mind people leaving me comments, asking me questions, but don't don't be a flipper know it all. Uh, think you know every flipping thing. Leave these comments on the station, and then you go look. This guy's got no videos. If you're such a fucking super tech guy, and you know what the, what's going on. You're such a, a magnificent super tech. Post some videos. Let me see your shit. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. Some of these guys. They just. I don't know. I'm just doing this video as a kidding around, joking around. But sometimes, you know, uh, guys like that just kind of get under your skin, you know. Flipping know it all. Flipping know it all. You know, a know it all that don't know shit. Uh, they're nothing like a know it all that doesn't know what the hell he's talking about and thinks he knows everything. That's the worst kind. Unbelievable. When you got 20, 30 years in the trade, you know, you'll see. You'll see that you could tell by doing certain things if, if something needs to be changed just by looking at it. You know? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. It just make me wonder sometimes. Like the bread, the wonder bread. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Wonder if I should use hostess bread or wonder bread. And stuff it in the pipe. Maybe Nissan. Maybe Nissan bread will work better. Yeah. Maybe I'll try wheat bread. Maybe I'll try wheat bread. And, you know, it'll work great. You know, I turn on the kitchen sink faucet. I'll have, you know, instant hot dog buns come out. Poof. Just toast some hot dogs on the grill and we'll be ready to go. We'll have buns at will by the, the movement of the faucet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope I didn't piss anybody off. It's just, um,. You know, some of these some of these keyboard cowboys make me really shake my head. Some of some of the stuff I see is ridiculous. You know, them comments like that, I just delete them. So if they're gonna be leaving stupid ass comments like that, I just get rid of them guys. I don't need I don't need people like that troublemakers that you know flipping want to be know it all, don't have a flipping clue. They're all flipping kids. They're all kids, you know. Uh, living down, at, you know, mama cooks some supper at five o'clock at night, and they, they climb up from the basement cellar, you know, when they're down there playing whatever video games, or you know, gonna start a career at McDonald's. Yes, I'm looking into a career at McDonald's, and um, I talk to the manager, and he's gonna give me, you know, a dollar more than minimum wage. I'm impressed. I'm in, I'm really impressed. I'm going to be flipping burgers, and uh, they, they promised to give me a special hat and apron uh, if I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's it's a wonderful career opportunity. <laughs> these are the guys These are the guys that are trying to tell you how to do your job, you know. Been doing this for over 30 years, and these little flipping, uh, you know, hamburger flippers want to be in. They can't even get a flipping job at McDonald's. They're trying out at Burger King for a job. They're going to they're gonna tell you how to do your job. Yo. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, guys. But anyway, hopefully you guys get a couple of laughs out of it. <laughs> I get a laugh making.